Hello, and if your refrigerator's doing this, you might be watching the right video. This repair is on a Maytag stainless steel 24.9 cubic foot French door refrigerator with an external ice water dispenser with the freezer at the bottom. The product number is MFI2568AES. A couple years ago, I had to change out the control board on the same refrigerator because the front door display would flicker and sometimes the ice disposal latch would make a clicking sound every now and then. This time I'm seeing the problem where the ice and water dispenser chooses when it wants to work. Sometimes opening the door, like you saw, gets the dispenser operational. Back then, Amazon only sold books, so I bought the control board on eBay. With Amazon selling everything today, I decided to purchase an aftermarket replacement board for $100. So now I'm just going over the video, removing the back plate. So there's four hex screws you need to remove. And then you have this clear protection plastic that covers over the board. It just snaps off. And then there's a couple of power terminals that you need to disconnect prior to removing the control board. And then once you have the power terminals off, then there's two snaps that you can disengage to remove the board. Unfortunately, my fridge is old, so the top snap is almost ready to give out. So here's the aftermarket board that I bought on Amazon. I'm going to install it, and I'm going to show you um, after the installation what, what happens after I put the power back in. So now, unfortunately, after installing this control board, the ice dispenser auger would not stop operating, and therefore it pushed all my ice to the front of the ice bin. This may cause your auger motor to burn out if your ice bin is full of ice. So there now you can hear it, the, the auger motor does not stop. So now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both boards. The OEM one on the left and then on the right is the replacement that I purchased on Amazon. So I noticed two differences. You see that, that capacitor in the center, a brown color on the aftermarket one. And then the capacitors up here, that one at the top is smaller. See, so some subtle differences can make the control board uh, make your equipment not operate properly. So I was able to hop back on eBay and I found an OEM replacement control board for $10 cheaper. Can you believe that? The replacement on Amazon was 100 bucks, and the one on eBay was $90. So because I've already installed the Amazon one, installing this one was a breeze. So pretty much plug and play, snap lock. Just got to reconnect all the power terminals. Now for my refrigerator, like I said... Uh, for MFI 2568 AES model, the control board is serial number or model number 12920710. I'm going to have to keep this in my back pocket the next time I have to change out the control board. So make sure you purchase the right board because it's important. Because installing the wrong control board might do more damage than good. So I had plugged the power back in and it was perfect silence. And I double checked the ice dispenser, the water and ice dispenser. It had power to the, uh, to the display screen. So now I'm putting the screws back on to this plate, this protection plate. And put the power cord back into the, the little latch hold. So I'm resetting my uh, my, my temperature set points. 
see if we work. Oh, yeah. On demand ice and water. So now here's the board that I took out that was damaged. Just doing a little bit of investigating to see what might have caused that issue of the ice water dispenser not, not giving me what I want on demand. And looking closer at that big capacitor, you see the discoloration at the bottom of it. A little bit of warping going on, so likely the cause of the culprit. Again, hope this video was of assistance and some education. Thanks for watching.